Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this vlog, and welcome back to Into the Net. We have a very, very special episode to today as we go to Seaview for the first North Belfast Derby of the season, Crusaders versus Cliftonville. Some of you on the channel might not know what a North Belfast Derby looks like, so I hope that you're going to experience an incredible atmosphere and hopefully a three points uh, for Cliftonville, but like like I've, I've said before, um, Cliftonville don't really have a successful record at Seaview. The last time they won here was 2019. Tonight is going to be a very, very tough test. It's just emerged, though, that Crusaders will be missing Jimmy Callagher, a key, key centre-back, signed him in the summer from Linfield. He will be out for the rest of the season with a serious knee injury. So let's get to Seaview. Let's experience the Derby atmosphere. Um, just let's hope that's all you can do for Cliftonville three points. I'll see you at CV. <laughs> be 1-1, one, one. Warren Casey with the biggest uh, let off in the house, yeah, he gets in, one on one, and he hits it wide, could not believe he has not scored, and the star is going off, I have no idea what's going on, but it's 1-0 to Mohan, so that's superb, Cricket Gallagher goal, but it should be 1-1. One, one. Half time at Seaview, Crusaders now, Kimball 2. Uh, to be honest, it couldn't have gone much better for the, for the Reds than this. They've been absolutely fantastic and they've been direct, but not in terms of playing long balls. They've played it on the ground, into the channels. Ben Wilson's been absolutely electric with his pace. First goal from Cricket Gallagher, it's an outstanding finish, and then Rory Hale, the former Crusaders, midfielder himself with a, with a really nice finish in the bottom corner. And to be honest, apart from a corner, uh, Crusaders haven't really had that much, many opportunities. So I think Clifford have more than matched Crusaders in terms of their physicality, which they've struggled here many times before. And I've been here a lot and I've seen games that just sort of turn out to be the exact same scenario. But this feels different. This feels really, really good. And there's, I know there's 45 minutes to go and one goal for Crusaders completely changes the complexity of the game again. But 
I think they're moving class, absolutely brilliant. In terms of really going for it, they've been quick, they've been direct. It's been really nice to watch. Um, I know obviously there's 45 minutes to go, like I say, but uh, more more of this, and the couple, you know, should really be getting three points out of here, uh, which will be a lot. I'll be, I'll be ecstatic because of the performance level as well. So it's half time, it's considered now, triple two. Not like sold out, mate. Again, the ball uh, Crusader substitution to start the second half. Mal Smith off, Ross Clark on. <laughs> Amani can change the game in an instant. He's so, so good and he always seems to do something special against Kimmel as well. Oh, members! Wilson brings it forward, links it to Sam Ashford, who pulls it back into Rory Hale and he drags the shot just wide, inches away from 4 0. But this criminal performance has been outstanding from the start to the finish. With 50 minutes left, and it's been absolutely incredible. Honors. Everybody loves Johnny Honors! Honors! Back home, just home from Seaview, what a night. Crusaders nil, Cliftonville 3, and I don't think any Cliftonville supporter expected that going to Seaview this evening. It was just absolutely bonkers. Such a good game of football. Cliftonville were outstanding from the start of the finish. High energy, pressing. The best Cliftonville performance at Seaview in many, many years. 
right, I'm stunned. I'm stunned at the intensity of it. Cricky Gallagher, outstanding. Everybody was outstanding. It was just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I thought, you know, credit to Jim and Jilton and Jerry Little. The, the completely going to see you over the last couple of years has been like a chore because you know what's going to happen. We were going to always play in the Crusaders' hands and their system. That exactly did not happen tonight. The change the dynamics, playing those balls out into the wide positions for Ben Wilson and Sam Ashford to chase. They were fantastic um, with their energy and their desire. Uh, just fantastic night. 3 0 win against Crusaders. Don't think anybody could have even dreamed about it, to be honest with you. It was like a fairy godmother came to Jim Magilton overnight and said, I'll give you three wishes. And one of those wishes was to win the North Belfast Derby. So to win the first Derby of the season in that con in that fashion, so convincing, was just brilliant. Um, nothing really more to say. Nothing really more to add. Just we wanted it so much. And I think players deserve so much credit. On to Balamina on Saturday. Um, Balamina not, not playing so well, but Clinton will never really do well in Balamina. So it's another tricky test. So looking forward to, to that game. I will be in England at the weekend at a few games. So if you like this vlog from the North Belfast Derby, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next vlog very, very soon. Bye for now.